it's just incredible. It just makes me so proud of this city. We're at the Commons, right near Unity Park, which is being built as we speak. Right on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. And we are enjoying just the beautiful outdoors today. Well, right here at Willard Street, just north of Unity Park, and we're at the brand new trail counter. That this is a digital display trail counter that we partnered with the city and Prisma Health to install. And the League of American Bicyclists have said, if you want bikes to count, you got to count bikes. So the real data is going to be valuable to, to show the economic engine this Swamp Rabbit Trail is. I've started to look more online to see what's going on with the plans and it's just incredible what's being done. And the downtown Greenville area has lots of beautiful bridges to walk over on the pathway so I think it's gorgeous. A few years ago it was all these things were still being talked about and we remember going out riding the Swamp Rabbit and riding through all these places just to see it changing over these years has been it's incredible. There was a time when I lived, when we lived here in Greenville where I was able to use the Swamp Rabbit Trail to commute as part of my commute uh, and then sidewalks and sides of roads from there. But where I'm at now, there's just none of that. You can't commute outside of a car. And so I think it's huge. I see how it's changed Greenville and how it's grown Greenville and allowed Greenville to grow up around the trail. It's very important to us not only to stay physically fit, but it also helps our mentality when you can get out and enjoy nature, see other people and enjoy the sun. It really makes you feel good. It kind of picks you up a little bit. So I can't imagine living anywhere else. Um, this is a primary reason why we chose the place that we live near this trail and near Cleveland Park. I am keeping a very, very, very close eye on Unity Park. It's a great destination, so if I can get my 10-year-old to launch his bike from here and we just ride to Unity Park as a destination, that's a real incentive for him to ride a little bit farther than if that park weren't there. So I can't wait until it's open full throttle. We may even be there potentially every day, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Honestly, every day. We try to go to a park, and every weekend we come to like the Swamp Rabbit Trail, grab some food, get on our bikes, take a walk. I have my daughter with me and we're just on a afternoon stroll. We usually come uh, at least once a week. We try to, especially when it's nice, but with it warming up, it'll definitely be multiple times out of the week. Oh, the outdoor activities are great here. Very much an outdoor person. The trail is amazing. Um, I've actually taken it from the zoo all the way to Traveler's Rest. We're familiar with the Beltline in, in Atlanta, but this is definitely seems nicer and safer. So much nicer. I love it here. <laughs> so we're really enjoying the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We had no idea. You know, as strangers coming here that, you know, we've never been to Greenville. We had never been to Greenville proper. We've been to Traveler's Rest and to Spartanburg. But in the city of Greenville, so many of the shop owners and places like that have been so kind and we just felt at home here almost right away. Would you recommend it for anybody? Um, no, because we want to keep it to ourselves. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's really good uh, for kids and families especially.